We also spoke to legal experts today about the grand jury process Deshaun Watson has gone through thus far and the responses the Browns organization gave about their own investigation. Our Brandon Simmons shares their analysis and how it weighs on our own perceptions. The grand jury is the first group of people who must decide whether there is probable cause that a person committed a felony. Of the 22 allegations against Deshaun Watson, a grand jury failed to indict nine cases in Harris County, a separate grand jury reaching the same decision on a case in Brazoria County. After seeing that from two separate grand juries, uh, my belief is that the, there's uh, actually not enough evidence, uh, legally speaking, for these cases to go forward on criminal charges. Attorney Michael Gableman says the grand jury process is often considered the easy part for the prosecution, as there is a much lower standard to charge someone than there would be to get a conviction down the road. Law professor Aisha Bell Hardaway concurs, but it also depends on how the evidence is presented. The testimony and the evidence presented by the police and the prosecutors was not enough for the grand jury to say uh, that they uh, that it, that there was probable cause uh, that the individual committed a crime. Despite that, there's still reason for Watson to avoid the subject in public, as more evidence could be presented at a later time. Those who are suspected of crime certainly want to do everything that they can to protect their Fifth Amendment rights. The Browns organization also explained why they didn't reach out to the accusers or their attorneys, saying they didn't want to interfere in the criminal investigation. I don't want to be in a position where you might be, uh, uh, where what you're doing might be construed as uh, tampering with uh, witnesses, uh, trying to get them to change their story. Bill Hardaway says it's also a business decision and reputation could also play a role. The NFL has been criticized for the manner and the tone of the questions that were posed to some of the women that were in fact interviewed. Now, one thing I can tell you is that none of us really know all of the evidence that is available. We're all getting things secondhand, reading things online. So we don't know really what was presented to the grand jury. We don't know what things they heard. A lot of us really just relying on emotion right now. And that's why you see so many people being pulled in different directions, Laura. Yeah, that's right. Brandon Simmons wrapping up our team coverage tonight. Brandon, thank you.